It's it's hmm. grippy. <laughs> It's, you think he wanted to make that song? Hmm. Who do you think told him grippy. to make that song? Whoever's grippy in his phone. <laughs> no. she, she said, "Hey Jay, hey Mr. Cole, can you make a song about me? I know I'm, 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 I'm um, hmm. grippy." grippy. <laughs> Coming out like two weeks after yeah, this yeah, song yeah. releases, so we should like really double down on grippy. Oh shit, I'm hitting the table. I'm hitting the uh, grippy. Um, let's talk about chimps. What? So what about them? Um, so I saw a tweet uh yesterday. It said this bald chimp shows how. <laughs> sorry, wait. This bald chimp shows why a chimp will mess you up, and it's a bald chimp. I don't know why that's relevant because aren't, aren't most chimps bald? They don't have hair. They don't. Um. Well, they have hair everywhere, right? Yeah, like I guess so. Is that not hair? There is hair. So he's hair. not bald. He has a he beard. He just has like a buzz cut. And he's got beard? the Travis Kelsey. He's got the low taper fade. <laughs> this bald chimp shows why a chimp will mess you up. It's a muscular chimp. And then the quote tweet says, ridiculous. Chimps are like 80 pounds and three feet tall. I would one shot a chimp no different <laughs> than I would a third grader. No, so Okay. So um, then that sparked, and this I think about half of these people are joking and half of these people are being serious. Right. It sparked a conversation, people thinking that they could take on like an ape, mm. like a monkey. Mm. There are tons of people here who think that they could beat the shit out of like a monkey. Yes. Like hand-to-hand combat. One-on-one mm-hmm. one v one. One v one. In a ring with not a monkey. E- not even because of their like level of strength, because of their smarts and their wits. Oh, like I would rear, I'd rear naked yeah. choke the chimp because he can't grab the me chip, from behind. Yeah, the chip don't know what a haymaker is. Exactly, the I could chip Superman can't. punch. You think a chimp knows about the clothesline or the Stone Cold Steve Austin <laughs> or the attitude adjustment or That's RKO? What are, the RKO, exactly. So my question to you is: Do you think you could beat up a monkey? <sighs> okay, and this is assuming about the size of this chimp in said photo. Yeah, about that, the size of a third grader. Ass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think. Oh, fuck. No. I don't think I could just because, and I'm trying to think of, of, of a good reason. I think there's plenty of good reasons. <laughs> there's tons of them. But th- because they they have a lot more like, uh, I don't know, because I, I don't know other than like picturing it in my head. Mm-hmm. They're like, like I close my eyes and they're like a, everywhere all over me and like ripping my face off. So is there, is this... Uh, I'm sorry. There's only one of them. But but it itself is like everywhere. Yes, I feel like I I feel like they're faster than me. Uh-huh. I feel like they're more animalistic. Than well, me. they have um they have a really strong grip strength. Some might say they grippy. So that's also part of it. Chimpanzee muscle exceeds human muscle in maximum dynamic force and power output by 1.35 times. Oh fuck. So I did. I didn't know that. One, the only thing that I feel like I have over it is I have a longer arms, right? I I don't even think that's true. I think chimps have like eight foot wingspans. Oh, really? Yeah, wingspans. I oh yeah, because they got lo- long wingspans. Yeah. What about leg spans? Um, their leg spans probably about the same as ours. Mm. They're not. They're not that tall. So do you think I I well okay then then what do you think? Well, I think I was just wondering if you were in agreement with these uh, fucking numbskull <laughs> idiots who think that they could take on a chimpanzee that are they're five times the strength of humans. No. I was just wondering where you st- where you. Stood no, I feel like I feel like I'd be a little delusional to say uh-huh. that like I could I could take a monkey. I feel like there's the news even like story you hear stories about people getting fucked up by getting their faces ripped off yeah yeah so then that actually leads me to uh my next point um i saw a study in the comments um which or i guess this was a poll which animal could you beat in a fight they were polling americans and um the british (laughs) um just americans and the brits yeah that's just the americans and the brits um survey of 2000 uh gb adults Good bussy adults. I don't. I don't know what that means. <laughs> well, this isn't. I mean, I. I don't. I haven't seen the study yet, but I feel like it's not very accurate. Like, if you put some like Aussies in the mix or something, like they gotta go. Head They're to more head delusional. With, like, you think? No, they they gotta go head to head with kangaroos like often. I don't think so. 
aren't aren't they like threatening? Aren't they like don't like twelve babies? No, not twelve. Uh-huh. I think I saw that seventeen babies each each year get like stolen and put into kang uh, like kangaroo pouches. If you put that into perspective, that's actually a lot of babies. Yes, like seventeen babies compared to in America zero. Yeah, babies go missing all the time, and well, I, not all the time. Baby, what? Not all the time. Seventeen out of the year. I wouldn't call that all the time. That's like weekly. No, that's like by that's like by. By monthly, third, you think? third weekly, every third week. That's once every month, and then a couple more sprinkled in, like five more. Yes. B- okay, but my my point is got it that um, I forgot my point. No, my point is that babies go missing all semi three times a month, <laughs> once a month. Yeah, yeah. And Australians will be walking along and see kangaroos with human babies in their patches doubt uh, that are alive and they have to okay and they have to like they have like wanted posters of kangaroos like have you seen this rue yeah he yeah. stole my baby because he stole my baby okay so they do okay i understand what you're saying but um i guess we have to work on because we're both americans we're american yeah so um i just wanted to show you show you all uh what americans thought about um about who they, could, who they could fight um most i think uh all of Americans, uh, about uh, everyone in the in the poll that was studied, about seventy percent. Oh no, that says like yeah, that's seventy percent of uh, Americans. Kangaroo, look, yeah, there's a kangaroo there, but not a lot of not a lot of Brit- Britons think that they could fight a kangaroo. Mm. So about seventy percent of Americans think that they could beat up a rat, mm. as opposed to sixty. Wait, 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 wait. How many? What percent? Seventy percent. So there's thirty percent of oh, Americans I, who don't think that they could beat I'd, up a rat. I'd be, I'd probably be in that thirty percent. For are you really? Just one rat. I, I think that like they're fast. Like I couldn't even catch it. Like if like are they trying to fight? Are all they're these fighting animals, back? They're, oh, they're, all, they're fighting trying back. to beat us up. Yeah. Oh You're, yeah. Be, could, which animals could you beat in a fight? We are oh, fighting. It's a fight. We're fighting. Uh yeah. I could I could beat a rat unless it somehow gets into my penis and balls. You think it could? <clears throat> how big? Are like you? it goes up my pant leg into my like gooch area. I guess let me just give you a reference for how big like rats are. So it's about like sort of like a phone size. You think this could be able to like even attempt to get inside of your penis and balls? Mm, does this? It could be a baby rat. So it, now it's a baby rat. Yeah. So I'll just are you go saying half the smaller? The smaller, the the easier it would be to get in my penis and balls. Absolutely. I think the bigger would be the harder. No. Yes. Yeah. The it, it does get harder when it's bigger. Got it. So what were you? I saying? don't think we're talking about the same. What thing. What are we talking about? We're talking about rats. Oh. Yes, I could beat a rat in a fight. Okay, but uh, the unless it being, gets to my penis, penis and, and balls. balls, Jinx Parcher, uh, Jinx, Jinx, wait, <laughs> Jamorial Day, Genus, Genus, Genus and Jaws. Um, <laughs> what? A house cat. Seventy percent of Americans think that they could beat a house cat in a fight. Uh, I think Britons and Americans are aligned on this. Ooh. They're they're about the same in the on the graph. And again, this is about two thousand uh, good bussy adults. So it's not the ag- it's not everybody. Just about two thousand. They haven't seen that video of the cat that uh with the go up against like even like a snake. I saw a video of a cat and a snake. Uh-huh. Cats have the f- quickest reaction times like ever, not ever, but quicker close. than I. Qu- quicker than you. Quicker than a snake, and a snake is quicker than I. So you don't think that you'd be able to beat a house cat in a fight if it has its claws fully like up your penis and balls? No, no, no. Penis and balls. I can protect my penis and balls from a cat. Wait, okay. Also, like, do I do we get any preparation? Do they get any preparation? Like, has this cat been taking like creatine for like two months? Well, or the something? cat's been taking Krav Maga classes. <laughs> so, and also the snake has too. <laughs> But I've been taking my ashwagandha bladder rack pills. For, you have for like months, months. So and you're you are stimulant, erect, I'm stimulant, erect, a little bit manly and depressed. Yep, you're balding just that little bit, <laughs> right? But you have a big ass beard. My testosterone is slightly elevated mm-hmm. than usual. Lower estrogen, so you look like not pretty. <laughs> Do the, does estrogen relate to like correlate to prettiness? <laughs> like softer features? I don't know. To all our scientists out there, is that true? I don't think there's a single scientist that would choose to listen to hypothetical nonsense. You don't think so? Um, not even a penis and balls scientist. I associate scientists with people who with a desire to learn. Uh huh. I don't think you could like if you if we made a list of like facts that have come out of this podcast. Like fa- what what do you, what's something. That you've taken away from this podcast. What other than like a waste of time is the is like what you're doing right now to our viewers? 
a, what other than like a giggle every once in a while do you a joyful disposition? Yes. Um a fuller heart. <laughs> do you do you leave with for yours? Do you leave with a fuller heart? I'd argue ends? some people leave with this with love. Okay. A love for a bigger life, um experience, mm. a need to learn because mm. they come out of this like damn, I need to learn some shit. Yeah. So like, they go and learn something after they finish the podcast. Like uh, they're more likely to reconsider things after mm-hmm. the episode ends. I think so. Okay. So so we provide value. Inadvertently. Okay. The value that we provide is pushing other people to find that value. Which I, I think it. is valuable in and of itself. I love it. I love it. So would you beat a house cat or do you think that, um, just back to the point. Okay. No. No? Yeah, oh, uh, no. Do you? I feel like if I really like had like blood in my eyes, like I need to murder this cat, I feel like I could. Yeah. Like if I'm you really like you, you, you're trying to beat like. What's your strategy? Throw away the like love for the animal for a second. Yeah. My strategy it's, is. It's me or the cat. Yes. Yeah. It's you or the cat. Yeah. I think I would just I like. I mean cat's what like five seven? Would you beat a goose <laughs> in a fight? <laughs> How tall are you? Cat? A goose? I'm like five four, five five on a good day. Five six if I stand really? Up really straight. My license you give says tall. five four. You give tall. Thank you. I yes. Think. You like the cat jokes? <clears throat> Got it. Yeah. <laughs> she put the mic away. That's why I moved on to goose. Would you beat up a goose? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. You can't just say you could beat up a cat and then have no strategy. I'm snapping that fucking cat's neck. Clock. <laughs> you like so you think you could Yes. So you think you could dance? Dance, dance, dance. Ooh. Could you beat up Neil Patrick Harris in a fight? Mm. <laughs> uh, I don't know who that is. How I Met Your Mother? Smurfs? I'd, yeah, Smurfs. I could beat up a Smurf. They're like two. No, not old. Smurfs. He's in Smurfs. Is he a regular guy? I didn't know there were regular people in the Smurfs. Well, they go to New York and then they... Uh, and Neil Patrick Harris is there? Mm-hmm. In New York? Yeah. Well, where else would he be? He's on Broadway. Is he really? Yeah. Broadway isn't bro- there's a Broadway in Austin, right? There's Broadways in every There's Broadway everywhere. Like just yeah. bro- like Broadway. Yeah. Just the street. Just Broadway Boulevard or Broadway uh Martin Luther King Jr. Broadway Boulevard. <laughs> there's a Martin Luther King Jr. street everywhere except for probably like I don't know, Vermont, Birmingham or Birmingham, Alabama. There's probably 70 in Birmingham, Alabama. There's probably a Martin Luther Derby. King Jr. Drive, a Martin Luther King Jr. Lane yeah. on the same Martin street. Luther, Martin Luther King Jr. Burger at McDonald's seasonally. It's just like a black and white burger. <laughs> Ew. It's a, black, it's a biracial burger. <laughs> the unity burger. With a letter opener in the... Sorry. Um, that's for all you history buffs out there. Um, I don't know what happened. He got stabbed. I thought he got opener. sniped. Sniped? They were sniping at him? Yeah, I thought I thought that he was like I thought he got sniped. Are you thinking about JFK? No, no, I MLK got shot, I'm pretty sure. But not sniped? Like modern warfare. I thought it was three, from like, a sniped? distance. I thought it was from like the a different building. I thought they knew where like he was at a hotel or something and Yes, he was shot as he stood on the second floor balcony outside his room at Lorraine Motel in Memphis, yeah. Tennessee. But was he sniped? Yeah, was it like a sniper rifle or just like a regular like... Did somebody gun? come up to him and just shoot him? Does it have to be a sniper I, rifle for it to be a snipe? Oh, that's a good point. You could be sniped from... I think a snipe just means it's from a, a distance. Like you could be sniped for as long as it's like more than like 20 feet away. I don't know. 30, I, yeah, I guess that... Away. What, is the, what is the like sniper distance? He was sniped! He was sniped! I love uh, getting facts correct that I So don't you like, like that he died? No, no, no. You just no, expressed oh, you no, just expressed so much joy that Martin I, Luther I, King Jr. got sniped. I didn't sniped. mean to celebrate about uh, Mel K. Jr.'s death. I wanted to have some hope for the world oh, and hope God. that he went out like that easier. Was crazy. That was fucking He had time to process the bullet coming to his what skull? <laughs> no, no. He did did he get shot in the let me guess. He got shot. In the neck, or the the you can yeah. no you can't you can't okay <laughs> you can't like cover all the body parts or no the body or no no his leg yeah yeah I don't know maybe ChatGPT would know you think ChatGPT would know I don't think so I don't think ChatGPT knows a lot of stuff yeah it knows how to talk it knows but so does it knows a baby Riz. I'll tell you that much it knows how to it knows um 
how to pick up a women. I've used a uh, chat GPT to a po- in the neck. No, in the lower right side of his face. No. Oh, so he was. So he's fine. He's dead. No. Is he fine? Yeah, I feel like that's a pretty survival. Could you tank like, a cheek shot? <laughs> I feel like, <laughs> dude. You ideally, lose a couple teeth. Yeah, but. ideally, like it would go through here and out the other cheek. Yeah, I don't know how much like, like, like 50 cent? blood. Fifty Cent survived like eighty different shots. Right. He was good. George W. Bush got a shoe thrown at him, hey, but he ducked and he was fine. Yeah, yeah, and he was like, oh, "You want it? You want some more?" You, you sort of. That's how a president should be. <laughs> you think if Joe Biden got a shoe thrown at him, he'd like tank it or he would like kill him? I feel like he'd catch it. I think he'd die. No, he'd catch he'd it with his mouth like a dog. <laughs> what? Could you beat up a dog? That's a. That's not a fair question. Why? Because there are so many different types of dogs. Chihuahua, yes. Golden Retriever, uh, does he like me? Uh, uh, Be- Beetlejuice, don't know. Or no, uh, Beethoven. Or no, what's his name? D- Bar- Duke? Darba Duke? The D- Marba Duke? No, probably not. <laughs> what are other dogs? Um, a beagle? Pitbull? Oh, hell no. <laughs> when you wake up, do you... Do you have like a, a list of things you're gonna say, or do you just like <laughs> raw dog? Raw dog? Uh, probably not. If it was a raw dog, um, the men's are raw. <laughs> you go. You answer. <laughs> um, I don't know where else we can go here from this. No, I- no, no, no. About dogs. Could you beat up a a crocodile? Oh, well, you didn't answer. I could beat up everything, Will. I could okay. beat up everything. Crocodile, I promise you. Crocodile, no. What's next? Elephant. Polar bear? No. Lion. Elephant? Oh. What percent of Americans think they can beat up an elephant? Ten percent. Ten percent of 10% Americans? Ten percent of this aggregate of Those people. are the Americans we got to send to Florida. That's the ten percent of, like, Americans we got to send to Florida and, like, put, like... Like in, like, shipping containers and keep them there, like, jail? Yeah, and take, like, a... Like a um, like a saw. And kill them? No, no, no. Saw the border of... Oh, so it drifts away. And then, so it just floats off into mm-hmm. the Pacific. So we could just go on, like on the street. Like, do you think you could take an elephant? Yeah, I could take an <laughs> elephant and then give them a ticket to. Oh, give. Oh, oh kidnap them. Okay, <laughs> take them on a boat, ship them to Florida, saw Florida off. I'm just uh, curious how what their game plan is. No, how you think we would get to? Fl- they would get to Florida by boat. You said send them on a boat on from Texas. Yeah, we'd go. Th- we we'd go through. You know that little ocean part. Is that you go the, to Florida? The Gulf of Mexico? Yeah, fuck it. And then we just drive all the way to Florida. <laughs> the Gulf Canal? Fuck it, why not? And then we just go all the way there. We use the pulley canal systems. Mm-hmm. And then we just go over all the way to Florida. I feel like it'd be easier. I think boat fuel is cheaper. Boat, boat fuels, and there's no traffic. Nothing. And we won't get pulled over by like the boat patrol. ocean police. I don't think so. I feel like it'd be the safest way to go out. Or the not, only thing we have to worry about it. is sharks, and we can refill. Or we can refill with all that oil that was dumped in there, right? Yeah, there's probably we could, some of that left. You know right? how there's like straws that, like, if you suck up the ocean, like it makes the water clear. Like, oh healthy. yeah, those life straws, right? We, we get an oil straw, and then suck up the oil <laughs> it from the water. Everything except the oil, it, or it only the oil, oil goes through. Yeah, only the oil goes through. Yeah, we could do that. I think, as long as there are no sharks. Those sharks like oil. Just keep keep going. Uh, that's it. We can we can move on. Do you think you could beat up a shark? Uh, oh yeah, actually yeah. That's the one. That's the one that I'm confident about. Cause you just punch in the nose, right? Like they have such like a big like target of like weak spot. Like you punch in the nose, it's like oh. But have you ever tried away. to punch something in the water? Are we? Oh, are we both underwater? Where would the shark be? I thought we were in a boxing ring. <laughs> so for all of these, you thought we were in a boxing ring. I mean, it's in a fight. I feel like so you. Know, I think you need to reevaluate all of these. Then, if you were in a boxing ring with a rat, yeah. Wait. Okay. Where are we then? Just in a room, or does it? Are we in their, we're in nat- their habitat? We're in we, their natural habitat. What would the sharks all do? All of these, all of these animals have a home advantage. Then, okay, we're in your house. Then, okay, I'd beat up a shark. Anything that needs to, a fish, a shark, anything that needs water to exist, I'm gonna be okay. The but shit he's out in your house, but also your house is filled with water. Ooh. Like up to my up to where? up to the ceiling, so then I'll just I'm drowning. But you still have to fight before you die. You're just gonna let yourself drown. So, 
I'd rather drown than get mauled, like slowly mauled by a like shark. Either if you just like lay down and let yourself drown, you're gonna drown. I can't drown lay in, down. I in the water. You're also going to get mauled by the shark. So you're gonna be drowning and also getting mauled by the shark. So at least go out with a fight. No. Yeah, I guess. I guess either way, I have like a minute and a half left of life. Okay, it's not to the ceiling. It's a little bit lower, so you have like some air pockets to come back up and breathe. Hmm. I mean, I might as well, like, die, right? Uh, because, wait, no, I just open a door. Duh. <laughs> open a door and all the water comes out. And then I kick it in the face. Oh, and then you would kick it in the face, so you're fighting. <laughs> yeah. You're fighting the shark. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I'd probably call PETA, and they'd come and, like, release it back How would you ocean. call PETA within the water? Oh, yeah. Well, the iPhones are pretty water resistant nowadays, right? I guess so. Do you want to try it? <laughs> try it yeah we have a bunch of water bottles over no there. my phone is cracked because it got ran over by a bus and uh so i, I don't think, think the- you've told that story before really no i definitely <laughs> have like four times god damn it <laughs> i almost like went off i was like really well let me tell you was it a bu- it wasn't a bus no it wasn't a bus i just uh i like to add embellishments my dad used to embellish stories a lot you call him a liar it- yeah yeah i like the b- embellishment though Embellish makes, just like it means like the story itself is true, but a lot of the details make it seem more like, like either heroic or like, um, like dramatic. It, it like yeah. adds to the story. Like it's like, it, did it get ran over by a bus? No. Did it get ran over by a car? Yes. Bus, car, tomatoes, potato. Absolutely. Did your dad ever like embellish a story about how he got to school in the morning? <laughs> no, I, I I've always seen those like memes though. Did you ever have that? Sort of. It would be like, well, why are you complaining about walking like a block when I had to? Yeah. When I was a kid back during the Civil War, I had to go through and 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 and, and dodge cannonballs. And <laughs> it's like, all right, got it. I'm a I'm a loser for like being cold because there's a blizzard yeah. outside. Because there's a, yeah, if there was oh yeah, you grew up in the cold, huh? I did. Yeah, but it was like like blizzards and shit. There was, and I had to walk to the bus stop. Did you have a, those like hand warmers on like on hand? Mm-mm. On, I just uh, had some thick. I just had some thick ass gloves. Oh, gloves. Yeah. Mm. What was the feel? Because whenever I would walk to school in the cold, mm-hmm. um, it was never as cold. It was like probably the coldest it would get was like thirty degrees. Sure. But anytime I would walk into um the school and experience the warm again, it was so uncomfortable for me, like having all those layers on and still being a little bit sweaty under them from the walk. And like the last stretch of it was uphill. So like just the like initial, like getting back, like temperature regulation was so uncomfortable for me. Would you, were you the type of person to wear shorts when it was like 50 or 60 degrees? Hell nah. Was you? Mm -mm. I was just curious. No, those dudes, those dudes are becoming cops. They are. Yeah. The the kids that would wear the shorts and also like go to the water fountain and put like water in their hair. Yeah. Like to like judge it up. They're definitely like <laughs> shooting people. Yeah. Like state sanctioned killings. I saw a video of um, a sober college student that got pulled over like and was suspected, suspected of being drunk. And the cop was being an asshole and making him do a bunch of stuff. The cop was like, why are you? Why are you shaking? Why are you trembling? Like. Like, are you drunk? And he was like, no, it's fucking, it's freaking like 30 degrees outside. I'm, I'm, I'm like cold. And the cop was like, well, I, I wear shorts in 30 degree weather. <laughs> and the dude was like, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> and then, it like, he actually got cooked. And then, uh, Did yeah, that leave? Went viral. No, Go. no, no. He ended up like taking him to the, t- to the station and like he blew zeros on the breathalyzer and the cop was like, you're high. You're high as fuck. <laughs> That's what now it makes sense. Your eyes are blood red. And they ended up taking him to the station and making him perform, like, do a bunch of shit. But like the video a, went viral. Like a clown? Yeah, Just yeah. Just like jump on one leg. Yeah. Do your ABCs backwards. A lot of those sobriety tests, like, look difficult. Like, to do sober. Like, I saw a video of a cop, like, doing an example mm-hmm. and, like, stumbling and, like, it's like, you expect me to do that? You just did, couldn't do it. Yeah. Are you drunk? It feels like it's, I don't even know, because if the breathalyzer says that you're drunk, there's no need for the test. That's so So it feels true. like they just do it for fun. Yeah. Like, just to, like, laugh at the person. <laughs> if it if it says, like, uh, point one yeah. zero whatever, now put you're your drunk. Up. Now, okay, now. Now do the hokey pokey and turn low. yourself around. Bust your shit down low. Yeah, you drunk as fuck. 
But you lit as but fuck. But you turned. Up. You actually oh, you turn, turned huh? up. Say your ABCs backwards. <laughs> Can you say Can your you ABCs? Can you do that shit? If I, like, it would take me a long time, but I could. All right. This is the side of the segment that we say our ABCs backwards. Okay. I'm, I prom- this is going to take me a while. Okay. Three, two. Let, now, viewers, racists at home. Don't. Three, two, one. <laughs> racists at home? Don't. I. I, I they probably <laughs> cheered when you said, Martin Luther King got <laughs> slain. Yeah, racist at- Z. Yeah. Why? I think so. Mm. X. Yeah. W. V. Yep. U. Yep. T. Yes, sir. S. Uh huh. Wait. Yeah. R. Yep. Q. Yup. P. Jamor, or, huh? Sorry. Oh. Oh, yeah. Fuck. And, and a Memorial Day. Damn. Damn, you got cooked and you did it in three minutes. That's crazy. Or no, finish. <laughs> Hurry <laughs> up, bro. <laughs> I prefaced that this was going to take a long time. You wanted to do this. Okay. What was I on N? Yeah. M? L. K. J. I. Yeah. H. G. Uh huh. F. E. Yeah. D. Yep. Hmm. No, this is where it, it come gets on. No, up. it no, it does it. This is the like. Fuck. This is the what the, it's called. This is what you alphabet. The ABCs? What the fuck is an alphabet? That's the girl from Wicked. C. I wish I got these jokes. B and then F. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> I gotta start over. <laughs> Z. Z Y X W V U T S Q R L. Alright, let's move on. Um I started off strong though. Do you have any more <laughs> animals that you want to talk about? Well, okay. I was I thought you were more delusional than I thought. Because I thought you'd be like, oh, yeah, I could beat up a Bronco or, a Bronco or something. I thought you'd like, oh, I could definitely beat up a Buffalo. Because I felt that, I read that your vibe, that you were kind of like somebody who thought that you could mm, beat up a big I, ass animal. I go to the gym and I'm suddenly, no. and I'm just like, yeah, like, you see these muscles, they're bigger than, in diameter than a cat's. So, therefore, you're like, I can fuck it, the cat. That's what I thought you, precisely, that's pretty much word for word what I thought you were going to say. I put it in my notes, exactly. <laughs> I thought that's exactly what you were going to say. But then I was going, I thought, okay, so here's what was, oh, Jesus. So here's what was going to happen. We're gonna, we were going to get into a Coochie Jesus mm-hmm. is grippy. So <laughs> Coochie Jesus, oh, 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 Coochie Jesus in uh, Freakulations 69. <laughs> Coochie Jesus, Freakulations 69. It's hmm, grippy. Um, Freakulations? <laughs> oh, my God. Coochulations <laughs> Cuchulation 69 Thou shall not motorboat um, <laughs> The teeth of Jesus <laughs> Mickey uh. <laughs> Wait what's another one I had one. Oh, oh parting the Red Sea is when No okay I'm not doing that one 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 I'm not doing that one, I'm not doing that one. Okay. But I promise you I was thinking of so many like Freakalations Like freaky Freakalations <laughs> There are so many. I had so many in my notes app, but some of them are crazy, like that one. Um, <laughs> so, not to get off topic or anything, but um, yeah, yeah. So I thought we were gonna have a very spirited debate about like, are we gonna beat up a monk or an animal? And, a and monk I, is monkey, <laughs> right? Right, chat. A monk, chat. Are we live? <laughs> <laughs> we're streaming. We're streaming. Right, hey, chat. W's in the chat. Thank you, Kuchalations, for the fifty bits. Um, so I thought we we're going to have you, a table eater, for table the- eater for eating that table. We really appreciate that. We had nowhere to put that. Um, so I thought we we're going to have a spirited debate about like, are we going to beat up different things? Now, but be we like, seem aligned. I, we are definitely aligned. I was going to be like, I was going to be like, what really? Well, are there any animals really on that list well? that you do think you could beat up? Um, well, the cat, I didn't know that we were, we would, uh, have a disagreement about that. I thought that we would both be like, yeah, we could definitely be the cat. Trying, I think it's also the experience of like trying to clip my cat's nails Mm -hmm. and like realizing that even no matter how hard, if I wanted to catch 
a cat, like, even by its neck when it's upset. Like, if it's, like, sleepy and, like, being cute, like, like you can, you can like, do anything. Sure. But, but if it's, like, on one, it's, like, If it's activated. on one, I don't think I could even, like, I think it would, it could dodge, its reaction time is so good that it could dodge my hand. If it really wanted to, it could dodge me every time I try to grab it. And, like, the second its claws are on my face and my neck. I'm scared that my when my cat's nails are long enough that like if it accident if it like Slits jumps your throat if the mic if the toaster goes off while it's like too close to my neck that my jugular is gonna be like like blood maybe there's something maybe I miss what's the toaster have to do with this because uh just something that would scare a cat oh like oh the you're toaster saying going like, off in like while it's like cuddled up on me like it, it scares the shit out of her scares the shit like, and, like, I have to kill it, you it has now. no regard for what its claws are doing you know I see I see. I just think if like push came to shove, because when we're when we're with like our animals, like you yeah. don't actually want to like grab the cat so hard that you hurt the cat. It's like you're yeah, still being yeah. careful. Mm -hmm. If like the adrenaline's pumping, if I'm not being careful, I feel like I have higher of a survival instinct than than the cat does. But like when we get to like a medium sized dog, mm -hmm. it could probably maul the shit out of me. Mm. Like for sure, medium sized dog. Let me. Can I list a couple breeds? Yeah, Beagle, Mozart. Bo Beagle, um, yeah, I think it could kill me. Really, a Probably. beagle with those short ass legs, with them sharp ass teeth, bite force. I'm yeah, but they like they are such like. What about a wiener dog? They they don't. I could beat up a wiener dog. That goofy ass dog. <laughs> I could definitely beat up a wiener dog. I guess I'm like maybe I'm misthinking about how big a beagle is because I I was picturing a beagle not being that much bigger than a wiener dog. Aren't wiener dogs like? Don't they vary in size? A yeah, little bit? I guess so. Yeah, just like my wiener. Yep. Just like uh, just art reflects reality, doesn't it? Do you have any other animals? So um, yeah. So now it's getting to weird territory. Like wolf, you can't beat up a wolf. Like gorilla, you're not beating up no fucking gorilla. <laughs> like, but some people do think that they could beat up oh, a gorilla. A but gorilla. um, that's a that's a normal sized beagle. Oh, I've, its legs are longer than I thought. Yeah, that's like a that's a medium sized dog. Yeah, that is a medium that dog person. could like hurt me. Yeah, like bad. Yeah, but it's so cute. Like, why would it ever do that? Because we're in a fight right now. We're in a Got boxing it. ring. Can we just talk it out? There's no fight that can't be resolved with words. Um, your word I, is your bond. Counterpoint. It's it would if the person you're fighting does not speak your language. I think I'd bring a translator or something for a dog. Yeah. ChatGPT, you know ChatGPT is like inches away from being able to to um to translate animal noises. Inches away? Yes. What year do you think it'll hit to where it could speak to animals? Mm, like 2035. Cool. Okay. So I'm glad you put a number on it. So in 2035, come back to this episode. Let us know if the world even still exists. Let us know if ChatGBT can talk to animals. Well, that's if the that's if the le the lead open AI scientist doesn't get killed. Oh yeah, because they don't want they don't want the world to speak to animals. Because mm -mm, then they'll realize that birds aren't real, and they'll realize that that the birds are actually just government drones and spies. Because they'll be like, wait, why can't the birds? Wait, the birds are talking about like um, Osama bin Laden. Even though that's old news. They're still talking about him in yeah. 2035? I, it's like the ninja effect where, like, he can't just, like, like move on from shit. Like, the birds are talking about, like, like because the U.S. hasn't really had that big of a win since Osama bin Laden, I think. That, like, they're kind of still caught up on it, you know? Um, 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 um. So I thought that we were going to have a debate. I thought we were going to get spirited. And then I was going to be well, like. we kind of did about the cat and um the shark. Yeah, but because it was, yeah, but it was like. I, I don't like you know like I thought we we're gonna get like heated and like we we're gonna stand up and it was good like we were gonna talk so much that spit was gonna come out like what the fuck are you talking about and then things were gonna so are we fighting now no 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 but listen who would who would win in a fight to the death who at what percent of Americans think they could beat up a Sammy most of them I think unless I had a gun but <laughs> wait you can't have a gun. I can't have a gun no the most you can have is like a uh, stick. Or something like, like a how sharp. like a kendo stick or like like a a stick that like from the wilderness, like a a wilderness stick. Any the biggest stick you can find within like a thirty foot radius of that just seems like rude to me. Like go find a stick and then <laughs> that could be your weapon. Well, they don't have anything. You could just do do fists if you want. 
it's not supposed to be disrespectful. It's supposed to be like, hey, listen, like there's no, it's like, hey, listen, we know that you're at a disadvantage, so go find a stick. Well, would you rather die? Probably. Okay. Well, so this, it was supposed to segue into this conversation because me, you, and a couple other people were playing a game on Jackbox.television. Oh, yeah. And one of the questions was, uh, what is your weapon of choice for the zombie apocalypse? Oh. And we had to rank them from the most useful to the least useful. Mm. And I'll list all of them for all of you guys. It was a revolver, an aluminum baseball bat, flamethrower, chains, bazooka, crowbar, butcher's knife, and fists. Okay. I thought unequivocally. Can you, can you put it, like, just so I could, I can oh. remember all of it. Just put it, you can play it flat. I thought, oh, okay. I thought unequivocally. <laughs> <laughs> I thought unequivocally there was first, the first number one most useful weapon. I thought everyone would agree. Mm. They did not. So on three, we'll say the, the most useful weapon. Because yes. we will both agree on this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> One, two, two three. three. Bazooka. Okay. What? Bazooka? Really? Bazooka? I mean, bazooka is a solid two, but like flamethrower is the most obvious. Like bazooka is so limited. I won't even give you flamethrower as two. Really? But I put flamethrower. I did put it as two. <laughs> but I, I won't even give you that because maybe I was. Why well, not? Because listen, listen, a bazooka is so good for crowd control. You're wiping out so many zombies. Maybe you you have to get to some sort of high ground. But I'm thinking if I have access to a bazooka, I also have access to some form of high ground. Mm. I've got the high ground. I'm barricaded up. Ping. Boom. Like a hundred zombies are done. Mm. In that one foul swoop, a flamethrower, there's no way to really aim a flamethrower. Like, fire is like its own autonomous beast that you can't okay. really tame. I guess <clears throat> flamethrower and bazooka are both limited in range. Bazooka, sure. bazooka is limited in that you can't do it. Like, if, if a zombie gets close to you, you're fucked. Like, if you shoot that bazooka, you're killing yourself. <laughs> I'm punching. I'm pissed. I'm bazooka with you. You're it. using it as a weapon? As a sword. As a sword? If they get close, cling, cling. And then ping, that shit, ping. and then that, and then the zombie accidentally presses the trigger, and then it blows Oops, everything Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, I don't think the zombie, well, no, because I'd have the safety on. Click. Is there safeties on a bazooka? If there's no there safety on be. a bazooka, <laughs> that's fucking crazy. <laughs> there's no safety. I'm clicking, click the safety. Now it's a bazooka sword. Mm, I guess, yeah. Are the tr are the safeties like? I mean, I feel like if you're hitting it, like it's pretty easy to undo the safety. You know, <clears throat> I feel like if you're like wielding it around, there's a chance that I'll like, put tape over it. Yeah, I guess that's not like a forefront like argument though. Like, sure. That, like, so yeah, I I see it because the only reason I think flamethrower is because um, it's close range and like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> a bazooka would be a bazooka would be uh, absurd. Like the amount of zombies, like flamethrower, it would be one at a time, one zombie at a time. But like, I was just thinking it would be badass to have like a bunch of zombies coming towards you me, spin? And I'm just like spinning in a circle. I feel like you'd burn yourself though. Yeah, I guess if the zombie, yeah, what? I'm curious, like real zombies, like the not the movie shit. Yeah, the, the, real, the real zombies, zombies that are in real life. Yeah, uh, do they? What are their reactions when like hurt? Like if a zombie stubs its toe, are they like, oh, hold on, ow, ow, fuck? Hold on. I don't think they feel anything. So if I if I like light a zombie on fire, they're not like ah. <laughs> they're not like stepping. They're gonna keep walking towards me while on fire until their heart stops. I'd imagine because if they're zombies, like I guess what lore, what what sort of lore of are we talking about? Warm bodies? Are we talking about the warm body zombies? Are we talking about the are we talking about the Walking Dead zombies? What are we talking here? Yeah, I don't know. Um, like uh, Last of Us or is Last, the of, Last of Us has zombies. They're mushroom zombies. Yeah, um, I I don't know I don't know any of the lore of any zombie other than maybe Black Ops Two zombies. So we can go. Let's assume that zombies in real life for how they could function. The definition of a zombie is an undead human. Okay. I don't think in real life a zombie would have super speed. 
They wouldn't have like super strength. Yeah. They're probably just like dead moving around. Yes. And they probably we can also we can grant the zombies that they do want to eat your brains. Yes. They want to eat their motivation you. is to eat brains. Eat brains and also probably infect you with zombie juice or something. So like yes. if they get close to you, you will also end up turning into a zombie. If they is it if like is it transmitted like blood? Is it like it's yeah, sexually like, transmitted or probably. Yeah. I don't think that's like the main source, but th- like Oh my god, we should make a zombie love story where there's a zombie that like and a and a person that fall in love but they can't have sex because they'll turn into a zombie because if they do. Yeah, and and like they don't want to um they can't like but they can kiss and stuff because there's they no They can like kiss? Blood. I thought it was blood transmitted. Well, do zombies have blood? How how else do they exist? Get I so hate to break it to you. I think that's literally just the plot of Twilight. What? But with a vampire. They can kiss, but they can't have sex. And Wait, when they not? do have sex, it goes really bad. They can have sex. He just has to be weak and also he can't like <laughs> Just the no? grossest sound effect you could have chosen. What did you do you want me to say the word? I want to be respectful to everyone. I don't know. Maybe like a silly like boing yo yo yoing. No, you can't finish. Auga. That's fi- no. Finish. Finish. Finish to completion. Finish does mean to completion, no? Uh come. That's what I was avoiding. Splugert. Oh, Splugert. Squarp. <laughs> Squarp? Yeah, squirt's for others. Squarp is for us. Oh, got it. Um, but yeah, Twilight, you could, they, they did get, they get, they could get a little freaky. He just had to make sure that he didn't like, what, no, get too crazy, finish to completion. <laughs> and also he couldn't be too strong about it cause he'd break her in half. But I guess he didn't, his urges were too great because like he was like, Bella, just if we wear a condom and just, uh, have her not be top. a freak. I don't know. That's a great solution. I don't know why Edward didn't think about a condom. <laughs> Does they like, not have condoms and forks? I can't I can't put it I can't do it because Bro <laughs> Wear a condom. It's just he but he's like he's like, oh I'm allergic to latex or he's like, oh the feet. I, need, I don't like I need lambskin. I need lambskin condoms, but they're a little too expensive and I don't have the money. It just feels like nothing with the condoms. <laughs> he has <just>. bear skin raw. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get the tro- the bear skin? <laughs> I think also, but Edward was like, yeah, he he was like alluding to it, but he was like, Bella, I got to be real with you. I would fucking break you in half. Mm -hmm. Like I would hurt you. And she would always, she would always go like, I don't care. But like, consider, no, if he, if she did ride him, if he does just a little bit of like a boop, she'd go up in the ceiling. Really? He's so strong. He stopped the car. Oh, really? One little like boink. And it's like, I mean, I don't know how freaky, but like. They could. He could get tied up, tie his hands up, tie his body to the to the bed. And he could break like, through the ropes. You think that Bella oh, could tie true. him up enough? She's not a Boy Scout. What does he not have? Like some like kryptonite or something? Like yeah, Bella. Wait, latex, right? Latex and Bella are his kryptonite. <laughs> latex, uh, Bella, peanuts, glory hole. I don't know. He could break through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> he gets a little bit excited. Up oh, <laughs> the wall, the drywall. But let's honestly, this is a good conversation. Let's figure out how Edward and Bella. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think those were my strongest options. I don't know. Glory holes. She's on top. Maybe. Uh, Maybe Edward know. could have his family holding him down while she's. He can't just stand still. Oh, he can't stand still. He's just like, it feels too good. He fucking loves her. Oh, yeah. imagine. Uh, just imagine like, and I'll, I'll be like, I'll be, uh, I'll be, I'll be clean about this you're having fun with your friend and you really like this friend a lot but you're like not really showing your friend how much fun you're having wouldn't Mm. that make your friend feel bad oh yeah you like he doesn't want to just stand there like a brick wall while bell is like doing tricks on it Mm -hmm. (laughs) um yeah (laughs) bella could throw it back Throw it back on him, and if he, if he does one, he thrusts hey, <laughs> just one, just she's one, going through the wall. just one single, a <laughs> hey, she's getting darted through like a firework, and she's her blood is splattered all over, and he's gonna lick up her blood because he's a vampire. Do you want that to happen to Bella? No. Okay, fine. Okay, the, the okay then the the safest option is for her to become a vampire. Mm, okay. But what were you? I gonna thought I was say? assuming that 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 couldn't that wasn't an option. Okay, assuming that's not the option. What were you gonna say? 
I was gonna say probably just some some FaceTime sex. Probably just some. He would get so excited. Wait, that, how how does he like? Does he? But he can control his strength on himself. Like when he's jorking it. Well, no, his. I think vampire boingaloings are like a lot more strong. Like they're strong. Oh, so his penis is strong. So that I, we're calling it boingaloings. Will please? Okay. We don't want to get demonetized. His cock. It's a lot stronger than most humans. So I think that's probably. That's probably part of it too. Bella probably can't like do it right on him. I don't know, mm. but I think you have to watch. You have to watch some of the movies because they yeah. did. They did start doing it during their like honeymoon or whatever, and like they were breaking the bed and shit. Oh really? And he'd have to go like, I gotta, I gotta chill. What? I gotta stop. There's yeah. a sex scene in Twilight. There's a sex montage. Really? They're in like a little house and they're like, let's do it. And then Edward's like, oh. all right, fuck it, bro. And then they just keep like going at it over and over. Oh, is Twilight like smut? Is Twilight no. just smut? No. I mean, not. it gets there to some degree. Fisher's shaking their head yes. Cat's no. shaking her head no. No, it gets smutty like towards the end. It's not smutty at the like towards the beginning. <laughs> If you want smut, look at Fifty Shades of Grey. That's like verifiably smut, and it's like based purpose, on Twilight. The purpose is smut. The purpose is to get you get the freaky. You should read Passion and Pancakes by Nathan Baylett. You think Superman? I think Superman and Lois Lane had the same issue, but like she wasn't going to turn into Superman if he like completed. Mm. You think that the Hulk? How does the Hulk become big and strong? The Hulk gets big and strong when he gets mad. Do you think he has control over what parts of his body get big? Get big and strong? Big and strong? No, because the Hulk is his own entity. Mm. Hulk is another person. You think Hulk as big as hell gets horny? Absolutely. And do you think that there's any, like, it would fit in any woman? Probably She-Hulk. Oh, That's his cousin. Okay. So, assuming we're in Alabama. Alabama She-Hulk. And um, <laughs> assuming that... <laughs> Hulk. So, but then they they so then if they're in a relationship together, uh huh. Do you think they would ever like purposefully like get in a fight, like kind of egg each other on, like yeah, to yeah. hulk each other out, to hulk <laughs> to hulk each other out, Bruce? Just the dishes have- again. <laughs> You're so fucking dirty, Bruce. What are you doing? What are you doing right now? Nothing. I'm just pissed right now. I'm fucking angry. Aren't you getting a little angry, Bruce? He's starting to turn a little green. He's like, oh god. He's like, oh, <sighs> stop. There is a scene in the um, Edward Norton movie where this exact situation <laughs> happens. I really? have not seen that movie in a long time. Yeah. That's very good. Yeah, he's monitoring his heart rate. If it goes too high, he's going to turn into the Hulk. <laughs> he has to stop having sex. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, okay, There's there are different Hulk-like creatures in the Marvel Universe. If Hulk really wanted to get freaky, he could get freaky with the Thing, which is a rock monster who's about the same size as the Hulk. Thanos is pretty... Big and wrinkly. Mm. I, th- I guess the wrinkles aren't really relevant, but he could get big and freaky with <laughs> Thanos. Uh, uh, red Hulk. Red Hulk is just Hulk, but red. Is it the same dude? No, it's a different guy. Oh. Red Hulk. So they could, yeah. They definitely could. They're like two peas in a pod. There's also a, a planet Hulk. There's a planet filled with Hulks. He could find somebody for sure. Absolutely. There's planet Hulks? Yeah. No, there's a planet filled with Hulks. How does that work? Like any other planet, I guess. They all kind of know, like, yeah, we're we're fucking pissed all the time. Like, they just kind of run society with that sort of mindset. Mm. You think, does Hulk, I don't know how it works. When Hulk gets big in, mm. like, inconvenient places, does it, like, fuck shit up? Like, if he gets pissed on, like, a bus. His, like, what, his clothes tear off, so whenever he unhulks, he's naked. Does he get bigger, like, like, does he, like, would he destroy the walls of the bus like i don't know how big probably he gets. yeah hulk is a pretty large creature so then on hulk planet everything is like a little bit wider and taller right yeah like everything they do they sell like how long are you hulk for when you get when you get angry is it just for the duration that you feel angry well i'm pretty sure hulk, hulk and bruce have a like sort of like symbiotic relationship where like yeah they at the beginning like hulk is like i want to be hulk i want to be hulk all the time and bruce is like all right i gotta be me a little bit so they're yeah. like okay fuck it like we'll have like this sort of like unspoken agreement but if hulk wants to hulk could be hulk forever oh really he could just be fucking hulk so then they sell like hulk clothes and hulk like- outfits probably hulk food yeah like hulk burger 
discount maybe discount Bruce clothes with it because mm-hmm. they're like more disposable because they get destroyed every time that it turns to it's Hulk. It's like 70% off all Bruce clothing at yeah. the Hulk and M. Yeah. <laughs> so they have like the bottom is like the human clothes and the top is like the real Hulk stuff, but you have like a hipster Hulk who has like like circular glasses and like I actually prefer wearing Bruce clothes because Hipster. they kind of they kind of fit my muscles more and they just sort of like make me look a little bit stronger. So that's kind of my vibe. They also sell graphic tees with with Bruce. It's really good. Bru- they they sell Bruce graphic. I would imagine I would imagine Bruce is a celebrity on on. Does this include Hulk. shoes too and socks? I don't think they need shoes and socks. I feel like they're one with nature and they like to like they walk go around barefoot in the store just barefoot. Well, Hulk only wears, he got his little purple shorts on, and that's it, just so they don't see his. Do they got to make, like, ATM stronger? Like, they, like, like the Hulk robbery? Yeah, yeah. I would imagine. Like, robbing anything as the Hulk would be pretty easy. Yeah, but I guess having Hulk security guards would make, would even the playing field. Well, they're all evenly matched, I think, so I don't think anyone wants to step to each other. Yeah, they, they, they all have, like, a, yeah, are there, like, Hulk and Bruce's that, like, this is like Rick and Morty. <laughs> <laughs> Hulk and Bruce. <laughs> just Rick and Morty. Because you're assuming That's they're so all Bruce. Funny. You're <laughs> assuming all the Hulks are Bruce. Some of the Hulks are just Hulk. They are not. They don't have like a human counterpart. Oh, they don't? It's just a dude. There's just a guy. Like, I'm oh, just Hulk, really? bro. I'm pretty sure like Hulk, like his son is just a, is just a Hulk. He's not like a dude. There's too much lore. I mean, there's like 50 years of comic books. Yeah. There's a lot. Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah, but I, it's thought, f- I thought it was just a bunch of Bruce's, like, <laughs> like Rick's and Morty's. It's funny that like, I'm Bru- hi Bruce, hi Bruce, hi Bruce, hi Bruce, hi Hulk, hi Hulk, hi Hulk, hi Hulk. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, yeah, moving on from superhero sex. Spider-Man, not to move on, but Spider-Man, um, he, um, he did it in Mary Jane and killed her. Because his, what? his fun is radioactive. His fun. I don't know. I don't know how to say this without. Yeah, yeah. His seed, maybe. It's just gross. Fun is good. I like fun. Because it's fun. Yay. Yeah. But it did kill her. Fun it was for who? Fun. Not for Mary not Jane. Not when it gets in your hair. And not when it gets in your mouth. And you have to pretend like it tastes good. Well, we should do Patreon questions. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Patreoners. Shout out our Patreoners, patreon.com slash best friends today. We um have some more questions to answer for you guys. Um, let's let's get it, let's get it into it. Maya says, How's everyone's day been? That includes you guys. Great. Thumbs up from Fisher, thumbs up from Kat, thumbs up from Shane. Great from Sammy. Dumb double thumbs up from Will. Oh, great day just from to, you. Just to one up you guys. Oh, okay. Um, Schlumboid Schlumboid said Asks What's your favorite Old timey word For item Artifact Curios Relics Knickknacks Etc et The doohickey Oh doohickey's good Fuck The thingy-majig mm. I just like saying Like it's a cool Like thingy Thingy Thingamabob Is also Thingamabob Mabob Mabob or jig I don't know one of those two. Uh, what's Matt says? How do you come up with the stimulator game ideas? Stimulator? Simulator game ideas. Um, like ideas for best friend simulator. I think we just like think about what food would like make us feel the worst to eat. Wrong. <laughs> um, I think about what food would be the thing that I want to eat today. I was like cheesecake. I want cheesecake. What if we ate all of all the of them? Cheesecake? Did that not ruin cheesecake for you forever? I still no. can't eat cheesecake. No, I never understand when people are like, "I'm burnt out on." Well, I do, but also it's, yeah. it's at the same time, it's like that burger video didn't make me hate burgers. That, yeah. that made me look for the best burger. Mm. I, I, it's actually burgers. cool. I'm glad that we did that video because now I feel like I have a better understanding of like what burger. Like if I'm like thinking of a burger to eat, now I know now which you know. one I'll enjoy the most. Yeah. Now it's not up to like perception of like what is the what does it look like on the page like yeah, yeah. how does it feel like the packaging and everything yeah. you know how it tastes and you know I, what unless it's taste I want to like. customize because like In and Out Burger got brought down because there's no onion onion brings up a burger like half a point for me maybe sure uh, In and Out I also get like I would get a double double I like having more meat in my mouth got it I like um, whole grilled onion do you know what whole grilled onion is. You know how grilled onion, they chop it up and grill it? You want the whole onion grilled? Just uh, more like slice, but yeah. Maybe not the whole onion. They don't grill you the whole You said onion. that, though. 
But that's just what they call it. You ask for whole grilled onion, they'll give you the a slice. The of slice it. of it, yeah, but it's a whole instead of the diced. Yes, it's a whole slice. A whole like just the big onion. Why are you doing? Why are there. you doing this? That's like, card. <laughs> no, this is burger. <laughs> uh, onion, right? Sliced, like sliced onion. No. Um, Jimby says, uh-huh. if you were somehow to co- be able to convert all of your body strength into one arm, how far could you throw a baseball? I've never thrown a baseball. If I like absorbed all of my strength from like my legs and my other arm into one yeah, arm, yeah. I only. But then you, because I feel like a lot of the strength from throwing comes at like the hips. Yeah, know? like the like, torque. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a full body movement. So it's like. But if your arm is super strong, you won't even need the full body mm, movement. You could just kind of like. Yeah, but still, I'm completely. Am I like? If all my strength is gone, I'm like paralyzed. Right? I can't stand. You're like Edward when he's getting. <laughs> um, I, I have to be like sitting down in a, like a wheelchair or something, and I just have I can only. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't even. I don't even have strength to keep my neck up or talk. You can't talk. <laughs> I have to be like this. Throw that shit. Put it in reverse, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in reverse, Terry. Put it in reverse. So uh, probably pretty fucking far. I think. Yeah, maybe a hundred thousand. Mac Daddy Sam says, "Will are you into Sammy's sketch comedy on his Instagram? If so, what's your favorite skit? Shout out, Yap City. What if you said no? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't really fuck with it. Yeah, I don't really watch it. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I'm a personally. casual. I just uh oh uh recently I was fucking with. I mean, first of all, like I fuck with all of Sammy's videos. Like Sammy, I be watching all of those. So, so. um, recently he made one where uh." He was an alien and he was speaking alien and he forgot his like translator and stuff. And he was like, but it was like alien English, like mix. Like so Spanglish. like, so, like split, like Spanglish, but for aliens. And that was super cool and creative. And that one left me like, damn, I wish I thought of that. Like sometimes I'll, sometimes I'll watch a video and be like, ah, I should have thought of that. Um, but yes, that one's my favorite from more recently. When I think of a Sammy video, I always think of the, um, the uh, hibachi chef one, just because it's like <laughs> they're just the quotes the flip and crack do it again uh anyway i don't mean to, <laughs> to glaze but um, that's great like sloppy like <laughs> um toasted beans asks have you ever had toasted beans <laughs> white white table eater toasted beans what the fuck is going on <laughs> Toasted beans. Yes, I've had toasted beans. Are you referring really? to baked beans or toasted beans? Is that like it sounds like a British thing? Toasted beans. Toasted or that's beans. not British. Toasted beans. <laughs> it's is. like Nicki Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> a toasted beans. Um, um, I don't know. Yeah. Who is this guy? Toasted beans. I don't know. Um, I like that. I think I would, if I didn't have any. Send me a link to toasted beans. Toasted beans. I just some. imagine like a layer of beans, maybe put in like the oven, and then it's like crispy on the outside, but maybe gooey, soft on, the gooey on the inside, like cookies. Yeah, <laughs> like cookies. Yeah, yeah, like toasted beans, like cookies, like scrapple, like, like scrapple, sloppy, like scrapple. Like scrapple. <laughs> um, uh, people, a couple different people asked um, if we got our stuff from Timu. Oh, uh, I don't think we're ever gonna get that. I wonder if it did come to Rooster Teeth, if we could, like, put a claim in for it. Maybe. It might come in, like, after everyone is gone. It, and it's, oh, like, a really? different owner. Did we ever get, like, a sh- tracking number? Or I kept asking, and just all I got was, not here yet. <sighs> I don't think it'll ever come. I don't think it'll ever come. Come. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I don't sorry. think it'll ever fun. I don't, I don't think it'll ever spurp. <laughs> or, wait, what was it? Squirp? Squirp. Hey there, squirp. Like, squirt. Sorry. Emma asks, any chance for a BFT Patreon Minecraft server? Uh, I was thinking about that. I was thinking the Minecraft server would be fun. It's just like the uh, moderation of it all would be complicated. We just don't know who would run that. Yeah, yeah. If anyone is, if anyone wants to make one and like, the uh, W you know, what is this an alien? Is this an alien <laughs> question? Aga uh, Mushmar says you can pick up Flagra BB. Okay, Kaylin Mason asks, okay. "What is the weirdest thing you found out about your co-hosts after coming together as BFT?" <laughs> what? <laughs> like maybe just something surprising that we learned about each other. Okay, if you have something, I have to think. Um, I mean, the specificity about like the food. 
ordering. That's one thing that, but also, um, and we can cut this if it's too personal, but like, just sure. like the, uh, the, your thing with like being sensitive to like different fabrics on your skin. True. That was just like, um, I, I don't know. Not that I didn't expect it. That was just an interesting, like, like quirk, you know, that you probably, I don't know if that's like a struggle for you, but, or something that you've like dealt with. No, but. I just buy different clothes, <clears throat> but yeah, um, yeah. And even like socks, right? Yeah. Sock. Well, socks are the biggest. Like really? If, if the socks like are like scraggly, I'm like, yeah, I can't, I can't, can't walk. I can't do it. Um, yeah, that's the, that's, it's not a struggle yeah. necessarily, but it's like, I can't like, if someone's like, you could borrow my shirt. I'm like, no, I yeah. can't do it, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> or like sheets. Sheets. Yeah. Pillows. When I'm sleeping on like, like blankets, like if your blanket is like old as fuck, like if you got an old as fuck blanket that used to be soft mm. and it's like kind of like, yeah, Ugh. yeah. I can't be on your blanket. Oh. I just can't do it. There's one <clears throat> blanket from my childhood that genuinely like every time i think about it i have like a a physical visceral reaction to it like because i used to put it um between my teeth and bite it and do this to it and it had the i hated the feeling but i would do it every day and yeah. every time i think about it i i like freak out and sometimes i'll think about it when i'm eating food and i can't finish like it meal. tastes like blanket now it's just the feeling of, yeah. on my teeth that i that actually goes into what my answer would be is that I didn't know how oral you were. You're so like oral, like you just bite shit, or like <laughs> you like put shit in your mouth, or you like you're always flossing. Like you're just a very orally centric. Like you just be biting shit. Like yeah, yeah. Yang, yang, yang. And then we're like, "Will you good?" And like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just biting my fork. I don't know. The oh yeah, forks are a big thing in like restaurants, like. Um, it, it's just like a stimming thing. You got like an oral like, fixation. Like yeah, you need yeah. to like have something to like chew on or have something. Have something in my mouth or be fidgeting with, but I prefer like, like forks. I like the, the feeling of like putting a fork against my lips and feeling the like my lips between the different fork prongs and sure. I like feel it with my finger and, um, and like in public, like sometimes I'll be at like a fancy restaurant and like if I'm with people, they'll be like, stop putting your knife in your, like the steak knife. It's like in you're your going to kill yourself. <laughs> I, know. I know. I probably look crazy having like, like I'll like put like a, the, the steak knife between my teeth and like, it's, it's just like floss <laughs> with the knife. <laughs> well, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't like scratch. No. Nothing like dangerous. Just but like, like uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just very stimulated. I you do just, like to stimulate. You're just a very stimulated... You're a best friend stimulate. <laughs> That's just kind of your vibe. I am. Val Barnes asks, how do you guys deal with any insecurity you have about the content you make? I've been trying to make shit because I, I know I can make some funny little things, but overthink it. How do y'all get over yourself and try new things, so specifically in solo stuff? Um, My philosophy is it doesn't matter. Like, honestly, I think someone said this to me a while ago. It was like, not to be disrespectful or anything, but... Nobody, like, really cares about what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if you make a shitty video, no one is looking at that like, man, Sammy's video fucking sucks. They're like, mm -hmm. they don't care. They're going to scroll right past. Like, no one has so much stock in their mind about you that they're, like, preying on your downfall or vice versa, like, kind of preying on your success a little bit. So it's like, that's a little bit freeing. So it's like, if you make a video, no one is going to remember that bad video. They're going to yes. remember the good video that you made. This might be a hot take. But um, personally, I feel like I have that philosophy just because like um, like I am where I am for at least some reason, you sure. know, like like um, like people like I know that like it's that like two at least at one point, two million people were like, I like this dude enough to hit that follow button, yeah. you know. And so when I make a video, I know that like I, I my taste is at least not terrible to the point where like it's gonna like be like embarrassing like to yeah. your point like they're not gonna be like damn that will video was ass yeah. you know but there are some people out there who have made videos and been like this is gonna be a hit and they're getting reposted on cringe like instagram cringe compilations like and i feel so terribly for those people that like because in their head they probably like see nothing wrong with the video that they're making and they they're also but like I feel like Instagram reels is a brutal place. Yeah. I guess the advice, the advice to give to someone is like, it's like a blanket. Like this is how you should operate. Yeah. But like 
it really depends because it's like, how can you give some some advice to someone in terms of like making videos if they just aren't good at it? If they if they shouldn't be making videos, because yeah. there's some people like, how do you tell that like SoundCloud rapper at your school to like quit? You're done. Like stop. <laughs> like, like I can't give someone advice. Like if I look at your stuff and I'm like, you gotta quit because yeah. I'm sure some people have thought about that in terms of me, mm-hmm. but it's also like there's different layers to that too, because yeah. it's like some people think that about me, but also some people think that about other people, but that yes. other person is getting posted on like yeah. cringe compilation 45. Yeah. Like this is the worst thing ever. And if I'm listening to like a SoundCloud rapper and I think that shit's ass, but there is like an audience out there for it that, that are like a large audience. Like I'm not going to lie. Like there's some uh popular mainstream like artists that I listen to. And I'm like, I don't understand. Like this is like, terrible to me but yeah. like if i told what if i was that dude that told him to quit in high school and they did that's you know? that's where that first advice comes in yeah. someone who like kind of has like an inkling of yeah. something that like people multiple people have told you like you're good at this or like yeah there's like you have a foundation for it yeah. if you're starting from zero like it's just more difficult to be like keep pushing bro yeah, like my yeah. my true advice to anybody is like really don't like go to college <laughs> like honestly like i got so lucky like yeah, but yeah. i took i made so many stupid choices yeah i made so many stupid decisions and i got lucky like in like most of those mm-hmm. avenues so i would say like the to the people who are like if you just optimize your your posting flow and if you do like you got to make sure your captions are in the middle and you got to no, yeah, yeah fucking absolutely not there's like this weird intangible like if you have it, you have it sort of kind of thing. And there's like 50% talent, 50% like working really hard on it. And like, sometimes if you have this 50%, you're not going to make it. Sometimes if you have this 50%, you're not going to make it. If you have a hundred percent of it, you might not even make it. Yeah. This is just such a volatile environment. Don't do it. It's just not smart. But if you have the conviction and the drive, and if you also can understand that if you do this, you'll probably be homeless for like a year or like you might not, hit until you're like 40 or you might not hit until you're like yeah 22 like yeah that's just it's just yeah and it also depends on like your situation and stuff too because like there are some people that literally like i know people that whose parents are millionaires and like they're in they're getting they're they're getting their rent paid for and that are like uh like follow your dreams kid you know and then it's like okay um sure try it out i don't know we're we're like 20 and like if you like have stability because your parents are rich like you can follow your dreams (laughs) you can like some people some people like the stakes are too high to to you know go all in and like uh it's a high risk but like is the risk like it's also like people some people like would literally be depressed working like a nine to five and like like, yeah it's worth like the risk like of the dream to like uh because they'd rather die than like work yeah. a nine to five. And yeah. in that case, I would say follow your dreams. Yeah. But just know like it's case by case. It's very case <laughs> by case. Yes. But if someone were to be like, Sammy, what do you think? Should I be an influencer? I'd be like, no. I'd be like, go to go to college because odds are it's not happening for you. Like mm. that was like odds are like I'm still like still in like a transitionary type. It might not even happen for me. Yeah. Like Real. That's just something that you have to mm-hmm. like reconcile with, you know. Totally. Advice from the hypothetical uh, nonsense podcast. Thanks for listening, guys. Uh, subscribe to our Patreon, patreon.com slash best friends today. Uh, follow us on socials, youtube.com slash best. Uh, I don't know if that's, I don't know. Yeah, uh, look up best friends today. Go on the go on the description, click a link, click a link, click the link tree, and then all the links are there. They'll be everywhere. You'll find us. Very simple, very, very freeing. Drop a like, drop a comment, drop something, drop Drop it down low, drop a super chat if you have the disposable income. What's a super chat? Like you give them like five dollars. Like, <laughs> my my chat's highlighted. <laughs> anyway, chat. We'll talk to you later. Thanks, Ending chat. the stream off right now. Thanks for the sub table leader. Okay.